Welcome. In front of me is an Alcatel WP5 and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification. So as you can see, um, this phone is locked and I would have to unlock it using either the correct pin that was set up before or using the Google account that was also logged in before the reset. Now assuming we don't know either of those, what we want to do is go back to the first page right here, change the language to any kind of other language, basically anything below Turkish right here downwards will work. So I'm gonna set up something right here and from here we're gonna go to the setup once more. Now don't worry, we, will, we won't need to use the, uh, the different language for long. Okay, there we go, so we're back in the lock screen. So from here you wanna tap on the blue text and then once you see the field to log in with Google account, tap on it to bring up the keyboard. There we go, so right here. And once the keyboard comes up, you should see a globe icon right here. If you don't, then go back to languages and change it to different language, I guess. Sometimes it happens that it doesn't show it for some reason. But yeah, once you see the globe icon, you wanna hold it. From here, change it back to QWERTY, hold it again and go to language settings, which is the button at the bottom right here. Then tap on add keyboard, which is the blue button right here. And choose any kind of option that is visible right here. So any option without an arrow. And from here, click on add, which again, blue button. Once you have added it, you should see three different options right here. So let's go back to the first page again, change it, change it back to our desired language, which for me is English and again, get back to the same page. And again, let's go to the language settings add a keyboard and this time around scroll down till you see an option with an arrow, so there is one. And from here you want to tap on the three dots and go to help and feedback and in that describe your issue field uh, you want to type in a mo use morse code or just to keep it simple type M O and this will bring it up as suggested right over here. So once you load it up you should see a video so you want to click on it this will load up the video and from here you can tap on the three dots right over here and then choose watch later which will open up our web browser so from here let's select accept and continue and then now thanks and then tap on the search bar up on the top and navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass there we go so if you need a minute, just pause it. I'm gonna go further. And I'm gonna go further with basically writing it incorrectly. So let's try it again. There we go. Okay, so that's basically where we want to be. So from here, you wanna scroll down to settings application, click on it, and this will open up the phone's settings. And in here, you wanna scroll down to security. And there we go, security. And then scroll down, choose advanced, and you should see the screen pinning option. Once you tap on it, enable the screen pinning, and then also you want to enable locked device when unpinning. And this will give you the option to set up a screen lock. So if you paid attention, uh, the, one of the ways to unlock this device uh, throughout the setup was using a pin. So I'm gonna set it up to be a pattern just to keep it different. Just so there is no kind of weird trickery that I might have done or something like that. Okay, so there it is. Uh, set screen lock, so I chose pattern. So now I'm gonna draw the pattern that I want to use. Click on next, 
redraw it and confirm. This will now set up a pattern which will be required several times throughout the setup. Now I could also add a, a fingerprint but I'm not gonna bother. So once that's added, hold power key, select restart and once the device boots back up, right off the bat we will need to put the pattern to actually unlock the device. And again, let's progress through the setup. Now, once this actually loads, uh, there will be a one significant difference right here. So if I select on copy, you should now see that one of the ways to unlock it is not gonna be pin anymore. It's gonna be that pattern. And there we go. So basically what has happened is once we set up a screen lock, the screen lock that I have chosen overrides the previous one that was set that we would need to normally confirm. So from here, let's just draw our pattern that we have set out ourselves and basically unlock the device. Now, even though the device is basically unlocked right now, I would still recommend you to basically finish up the setup and then go to the settings and perform a factory reset of the device just to be sure that there is nothing left over from the old account on the phone. Again, uh, the pattern, we need to confirm it. Skip. So from here, like I said, you could go into the settings. System, advanced, reset options, erase all data, factory reset, erase all data, confirm the pattern once more, and then erase all data for the last time right here. Once you click on it, it will basically perform a factory reset of your device, bringing you back to the setup screen after a couple minutes. But at that point, the device will be fully unlocked, so you can set it up as however you like. Now, I'm not gonna go through the reset just to save on time. But this is basically how you would bypass the Google verification on this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank <music> you.